the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. We are not to be a word of thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Then the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray for forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning's Mass offered for the repose of the soul of Richard Smith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. So may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this time of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is the reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation. 
assembled the elders, gathered the children, and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room, and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep, and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe away my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, Be merciful O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he said, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as hypocrites do in synagogues and in the streets to win the praises of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you pray, do not be like hypocrites. They love to stand and pray in synagogues, and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, pray to your Father in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like hypocrites, they neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel 
of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So many times in our Lord's speaking to us today in the Gospel, he talks about doing things in secret. He talks about not letting other people know. He talks about our Heavenly Father sees what we do in secret, and we want Him to know, and only Him. We begin Lent with this Gospel because Lent has a very personal secret between me and God aspect. And that both is an aspect of Lent, and it also gives Lent its character. There are certain things, celebrations, feast days in the church that have a very public nature. This does, but there's a very beautiful private nature inside between me and God. And what is the statement? The statement is, God, I get it. I know that you sent your son into the world to die on the cross so that my sins can be forgiven. I know that by myself, I can never make up to God for my sins. I know it was the sacrifice of Christ on Calvary that made up for my sins. And I've got to start thinking, not about other people's sins, but about mine, about the things that I allow myself to do, the bad habits that I've gotten into, the laziness that I practice. I've got to think about myself and what needs to be changed and what needs to be taken under control. And it was for those sins, God, that your son had to come into the world and suffer. I get it. I'm sorry for my sins. Lent ends with confession before Easter. I'm sorry for the sins that I've committed that made your suffering necessary, Lord. And my sins have at their root my lack of self-control. So I gotta teach myself self-control. And that's what Lent is all about. Uh, we give up something for Lent. Why? Because God is happy that I don't eat candy. God is, is happy that I don't drink Starbucks. No, that's not the point. The point is, every time I reach out my hand to take something, to put it in my mouth, and then I pull back my hand, no, it's Lent. I'm not eating that. Um, it's a day of abstinence. I'm not eating meat today. It's Ash Wednesday. It's Friday at Lent. I'm not eating meat. No, I'm not eating cake or cookies during Lent. And I pull back my hand. I've exercised self-control. If I can pull back my hand from the food I was about to take, maybe I can begin to control bad habits that I've gotten myself into. If I learn to control what I put in my mouth, maybe I can learn to control what comes out of my mouth and how I speak to people and what I say when I speak to them. There is an intensely personal aspect to life, and all of us must participate in this in order to get the graces that God is giving to us. It solidifies our relationship with God. Because as our Lord told us, if what we do is only a public thing, then we've already gotten our reward. And our reward is the maybe admiration of the public. But if what I do during Lent, if my acknowledgement of my own sins, of my preparation for Easter by leading up 
to confession at the end of Lent. If what I do is between me and God, then like any healthy relationship, those good things that are shared together and done for no one else's knowledge but each other solidifies our relationship. So we have an opportunity in the next 40 days to draw very close to God. Take advantage of it. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Dear brethren, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness, pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes, that as they follow Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. <laughs> With humble spirit, contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Again, let us pray. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time 
for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. So with angels and saints, we praise you. Without end, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Dominus Deus Sabaho, Plenis Uccelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, we venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy. O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and the passion of resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life, chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever 
and death row. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten Mass may be pleasing to you and may be for us a healing remedy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. If you just sit down for one second.